Hi guys, Storm Tool Triple One back again with another Nanoblock Unbuild and Rebuild. This time we are doing Gengar, one of the three original ghost types that was first introduced in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. And the only way that you can get Gengar is if you traded with one of your friends uh, or family members, depending on uh, if you had the Haunter first and then traded it uh, with each other, then you evolved the Haunter into a Gengar. Which is pretty useful, especially uh, as the game required a bit of a social connection, interaction with other people uh, from during the 90s, and it was also a perfect use of the Game Boy's link cable functionality, and he's still tradable even to this day. So, in this video, we're going to unbuild, we've already unbuilt Gengar, let me show you what I've already done. We have got a lot of uh, 2x2s and 3s right here, we even got some 2x4s. There will be a lot of purple in this, but if you keep an eye on uh, what I do with the build, it should be okay with you, or try to take some of the tips that I use, and when, especially when you're using the instructions. We've even got some 1x1s all the way up to 1x6s right here. We've even got some of the L's and T's. There's going to be a lot of purple, especially uh, with the design of Gengar, especially on his uh, back where there's a lot of spines involved. So there will be some good tips and tricks for you uh, to uh, learn from this. We've even got some red 1x2s and some red L's. They are hard to see in the tray, I know. Hopefully uh, I will get a better uh, organizing system uh, in place in the future. We've got some uh, black 1x2s right here for the pupils of the eyes. And we've got some white L's and some white 1x3s and 1x1s. Which will be absolutely perfect for Gengar's cheeky sm evil smile. So these are the pieces that we're going to need, all the colors. So if you keep an eye on my video or read the instructions thoroughly, you should be able to uh, get past the build uh, relatively well. If you're still struggling, keep an eye on the video, I'll show you what to do. For step one of the build, we're going to be doing a three layer of, um, step, so keep an eye on how I do things, and maybe if you don't understand what it's all about, maybe the video can help you out with this. So I'm now going to gather all the pieces that I'll need for this step. Okay, so we've gathered all the pieces that we're going to need for the Gengar build. We've got two 1x6s right here. One of these are necessary for the game, uh, tale of Gengar. Then we have got some 1x2s right here, 1x1s. We've got at least six uh, 2x4s right here. Then about seven 2x3s. I think it's seven. It might be, it might be six. I'm not entirely sure. Yes, it is seven. It is uh, seven. I was correct. Then I've got four 1x4s right here. Three 1x3s, followed by two Ts, three Ls, uh, sorry, uh, eight Ls right here. And then for the whites, I've got two Ls right here, followed by a 1x3 for the teeth. Now you're wondering why we're going to be doing the teeth here at first. Because this is a three layer build step, it's important that we get started on Gengar's uh, cheeky grin. Otherwise, we're not going to have that uh, sinister smile that Gengar is known for in the Pokemon games. So I'm going to get started on this step of the build. It's taken quite a while for the uh, build uh, for the uh, model to be built, but we've done it as uh, hoped. So uh, I'm gonna go through uh, what it is that I've done for the model exactly. Uh, I started off with the two by three right here at the front, which I used as my landmark brick. Then I put two purple L's right next to each one. Then in the middle behind uh, behind the two by three here at the front, I did one by six, the first of the only two. Then on both sides was a one by four. And then behind the L's was a 1x3 on each side, followed by another L right here at the back, and then another 1x4 on both sides to fill out the gap. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. Uh, for the second layer, uh, what I did was I did a 1x2 here at the front, so that I got a good solid foundation brick uh, for when I did the build. Then I went uh, from the uh, front to the back, where I did a... Not a uh, one by a two by four right here on the side. Then I went to, uh, to a little different uh, as I was building the uh, building this model. I did a uh, the which part was it again? Ah, here we go. That's right, a two by three right next to it uh, where the uh, sides connected. Then I went to the front and did another two by three. Now, when you're doing this step, try to make sure that the model. Uh, is not uh, awkwardly aligned, otherwise uh, you might not be able to get the uh, good the good build that you'll need. So the 2x3 here at the front was the next piece, followed by another 1x2 right here at the front, with it another 2x4 on the end of this layer, then a 2x3 right next to it. Then I went around and I uh, put uh, in the back 
a, another L right here, and then again right here on both sides. Then in the middle, so that we had a good solid foundation for the back as well, I had to put in a T somewhere along here, here, uh, as you can probably uh, see on the camera. It is, it is a little funny, but it is uh, how the instructions are, but I asked you to make the model. And then behind that T was another 2x3, followed by another T at the back, so that we got a good solid foundation to help with the small tail that is on Gengar. Then here, on the third layer, I started off with the white 1x3 here in the middle, to start out the cheeky grin. Then, the white L's right next to each one. Then behind the white L's was the purple 2x3's, as you can see on the top. Then a 1x1 one one here, and here. Then behind those two pieces was a 2x4 here, and here on both sides. Then another L right here, then here. Followed by a 2x4 here, then here, and then a 1x6, so that we got the tail sorted. Now I'm going to gather all the pieces that we'll need for step 2, where we're going to make more of Gengar's uh, sinister grin, which makes him uh, very unique in the world of Pokemon. Okay, so we've now got uh, the pieces that we'll need to finish up Gengar's smile and more of his uh, body, including the spines on his back. We have got two white L's, a 1x3 white, and three 1x1s right here. So I don't understand why they didn't include uh, another 1x3 white, but uh, hey, it's the instructions uh, and can't really, uh, uh, can't really go against it. <clears throat> but, um, well... On par and closer look, it's to uh, resemble the teeth, so yeah, it's a good idea to uh, have the teeth. Uh, anyway, uh, next up we have got two purple 2x3s here, two 2x4s, two Ts, three 1x3s, two squares, 2x2s, five 1x2s, and four Ls. And those are the pieces that I'm going to need for the next step of the build. Just a quick one uh, before I go into the details of uh, the second step. I had to go back to uh, the third layer here and bring it all forward one peg. It felt a little uneasy, especially uh, uneven. Sorry, uh, especially uh, from a uh, viewing per uh, perspective, especially uh, how were uh, some of the um, uh, peg uh, pegs on the uh, third layer was showing. A uh, second layer was showing. So I had to bring them all forward one. Uh, what I should have done, uh, and I should uh, tell you guys as well. When looking at the instructions, make sure that you take a look at the there we go. Take a look at the arrows first and foremost. Otherwise, it's just going to uh, confuse you as to uh, how uh, you do the build. But anyway, let's carry on with the uh, next layer uh, step two. Sorry. So at the front, I had to do the white one by threes right here to create the sinister smile. Then behind each one, uh, behind uh, those three uh, white uh, one by ones, is a white is a white one by three to help uh, finish uh, to uh, make sure that they don't move around uh, along the model. Then a white L on both sides of the uh, one by three right here. Then behind that uh, one by three uh, is a purple two by four. Then a, another uh, then a two, one by two right here on both of the arms, so that we can uh, have um, Gengar's uh, hands formed. Then behind those, uh, the 2x4, uh, right along the back here is a 1x2, then two 1x3s on the back here, then underneath, right here, is a 1x2. So that is that for that layer. Uh, then moving on top, is a purple 1x3 right here, then some L's here, and again here, so that uh, it creates the uh, funny illusion of um, uh, <clears throat> the illusion of uh, Gengar's uh, curved body. Then right uh, behind each one is a 2x3 in purple Ooh, on both sides, then behind those is a 1x2. Followed by two L's, which will help uh, create more of the spines on uh, Gengar's back, which are right here and here. Then a, yeah, oh yeah, these are T's, sorry, right here at the back. So we got the T's right here to help form up to the, um, more of the spine. And then, of course, the one by three. So uh, now I'm going to gather all the pieces that we'll need for step three of the build. 
Okay, so the pieces for this step are quite simple. We've got two two by fours right here, then two two by ones, two one by fours, and one by one right here, then a two by three, followed by three L's and two T's, all in purple. Then in black, I've got two one by twos right here where my index finger is pointing. Then three one by two reds, and finally three. L's right here. Sorry for the delay guys, I don't know what's happening. But uh, those are the pieces I'm going to need for this step. Uh, and now, because uh, we're going to be focus uh, starting off building Gengar's Scary Red Eyes. Okay, so we are now done with uh, step 3 of the build. Yes it is. So we have started off uh, with the evil uh, sinister eyes. What I did, first of all, was I did the little purple one by one on its own first, so that we got a good foundation brick. Then on both side, uh, on this side was the red L, one of the red Ls. Then a red one by two right here. Then on both sides of the uh, face was a is the black one by two, so that uh, we've got the pupils of the eyes. Next up are behind uh, one peg behind each of those uh, black one by twos is a red 1x2 again, so that we got more of the uh, eyes made. Then I had to do a purple 1x4 on both sides of the of the model. Then at the back was a 1x2 for each one. Then here on the uh, right hand side is a purple T. Then on the uh, other side is a purple, one by, uh, purple L. So that's that for the um, uh, for that layer. The next layer, I will try to explain uh, as best as I can right here here on the model. Uh, in front uh, is a little purple 2x3, followed by a purple L. Oh, uh, sorry, a red L on both sides. Then a 2x4 on each side of the model, followed by Ls on both sides right here. Yeah, I'm totally sorry for the uh, delay on the uh, other camera guys. I don't know what's happening there, uh, but um, yeah, on the uh, in between the L's is a purple T. So that is that for that step. Now I'm going to gather all the pieces I'll need for step four of the build. Okay, so for this step of the build, step four, we need uh, two two by threes right here, two two by fours, two T's in purple, oh, mind you, uh, three one by threes, seven L's which is a lot, and four 1x2s right here, and we're also needing some two red 1x2s all for the next step. So I'm now going to get started on this step of the build. Okay, so step four is now done. Uh, let's explain what I've done. Uh, I had to start off with the red 1x2 right here, where my index finger is, uh, on both sides of the model. Then on the right hand side of the model, I had to put in a purple 2x2, then on the left, is a purple 2x3. That's uh, in between, uh, right behind this little 1x3 right here at the front of Gengar's head. Then if we go to the sides of uh, the red 1x2s, we have put in a purple L on both sides. Then behind each one of those is a 1x2, one on the left respectively on the left hand side, and one on the right respectively on the right. And then the same again with the uh, uh, on the same sides, a one by three on both uh, behind each one, uh, next to each one. Then here at the back, I had to put in a purple T followed by a purple L. And then I moved on to the next layer of the build, where as you can see here, there is a purple two by three right here. Then on both sides, a purple L. Then behind each of the Ls is a purple two by four on both sides. Then a 1x2 right next, uh, in the middle, right next to each of the one, uh, 2x4s here. Then I had to put in a purple L here and here. Then right here at the back is a purple T. The camera will show me. There we go. I don't know why that's happening. Uh, apologies, apologies for that. Could be a bit of a delay. But uh, anyway, uh, that is it for step 4. So I'm going to get all the pieces needed for step 5 of the build. Okay, so the pieces for this step, step 5, are as follows. A 2x4, a 1x4, all in purple, mind you. 
uh, seven two by threes, followed by four uh, purple T's with two two by twos, a purple L, and six one by sixes. So that's the uh, pieces for this step, and uh, here comes the build. Okay, so step five is now completed. Uh, what I had to do was uh, right here the, at this part of the uh, head is uh, put on a purple T to start out. Then on both sides was a purple 2x3. Then as I worked my way backwards, I had to put on a purple 2x2 two two on both sides underneath where these uh, purple T's are. Uh, is that working now? Kind of. Haha. Yeah, okay. Uh, that'll do for now. Uh, then right next to the uh, two by twos is a two by three. Then above that is a purple one by one right here at the back. Then further up is a purple T right here. Then a purple L right here. So we got the uh, nice uh, spiny effect of uh, Gengar's back. Then here at the top you can see uh, what I did first was a purple two by three here. Then I put on a purple little one by one right here followed by a purple T right here to form a part of the ear. Then I moved up to the left with a purple 1x4, then the purple 2x4, two by two, uh, two then another little one here, then a purple 2x3 uh, right here so that we got a good uh, solid foundation, then a 2x3 right here with two more 1x1s here and here, then a purple T to finish off uh, this step. So now I just need the step uh, pieces for step 6 of the build. Okay, so for step 6 of the build, all I need is four purple tees right here where my thumb is, followed by two 1x3s here, two 1x1s, and two 2x2s. Two two and we're going to finish off uh, Gengar's head by putting together his ears. And we are done with uh, Gengar's head. So, first of all, we had to finish off the top of the head with two T's. One uh, with the point facing uh, Gengar's uh, front, and another facing uh, Gengar's back. Then, right next to each one, is a little uh, a gap uh, between each one, is another purple T, where the T is facing the front. Now, if you want a good idea on uh, how to put, uh, apply the brick, here, just use uh, the last step as a reference, because if you don't want uh, the brick to be uh, backwards a bit, uh, so just use your last step as, the, as a reference, it's a perfect example. Then behind each of the T's, I had to put on a little 1x3, uh, right here as you can see on the model, on the picture, right below me. Then on top of each of those uh, T's and 1x3's, I had to put on a little 2x2, two two, where the 2x2 two two was uh, more on the uh, away from the uh, top of Gengar's head. Then on top of each one, it's a little one by one here and here. So uh, that step is now complete. Most of Gengar is fully built, we just have two more steps to go. So for step seven, we just need to go underneath Gengar to uh, get the uh, start of his uh, curved body. And the pieces for this step are as follows. A two by three right here, two one by fours, two 1x2s and three 1x3s. So you just need to turn your Gengar model upside down just for this step uh, so that uh, the last pieces are done and then you can get started on building up uh, the uh, bottom side of Gengar. Okay, so the seventh step of the model build is now completed. Uh, I started off with a 2x3 in right here and the best way to uh, make sure that it's uh, at a good location is from the uh, first step, from underneath, make sure that you put this 2x3 here away from the chin, so that way you've got a good solid step up. Then I went and did a 1x3 here and here, followed by a 1x4 here, then here, and then finally a 1x3 right here in the middle. Then on both ends, I did a 1x2 right here and here. So we are now done with uh, step 7, and step 8, there's only one little uh, detail to do, and that's his feet. So for this we just need two 2x3s, and all we have to do is get the best location for them. And the location is where we put the 1x2, so if we put one here, and then one here, that's it, Gengar is built. And that's how you build a Gengar model. I hope you guys uh, like this video. And if you found any of this very helpful, please do share with any of your friends that might be struggling with it. And just beware, Gengar might be behind your back. You never know.
Hi right, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, why not check out my latest video right here. If you haven't got anything to watch on the weekend or one of your days off, why not check out my playlist right here. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified on my latest videos. Hope to see you again soon. Happy gaming. See you around.